Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to show you, because of the latest and greatest version of Flight Sim, you now have the ability to directly import flight plans into the FMS of the Boeing 747 as well as 787. Now this is a really, really cool feature because it really means you can do all that hard work over in SimBrief before coming back over here and trying to get the work done. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, if you're doing this from cold and dark, we have to get a little bit of electricity kicking around here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop on our external powers. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and create yourself a flight plan that takes you from one spot to another. Now, in my case, uh, what I did is I quickly put together, you know, this little one that's going to go from Bradley all the way down to BWI. I've done this one a few times. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're now going to import that directly into our flight sim. It's actually really, really easy to do. What you're going to do is you're going to make your way down to the index page, press the settings page, and then you're going to press go ahead and go to the next page here. Now, when you do this, it's going to either give you the opportunity to do a user ID or it's going to give you a username. Now, some of you immediately are going to say, ah, or something along those lines, but there actually is no password here. And uh, the interesting thing is, if you want to grab anyone's flight plans to anyone, they have not thought that part through. And uh, that's just kind of the nature of this beast here. So kind of keep that in the back of your head as well. So the other thing they give us in the settings, by the way, which is really for another day, is they actually give us the ability to change the IRS alignment time, which is kind of cool. And you can also do in-flight fuel configuration to be automatic. That's pretty cool. So now part two here, we're going to go ahead and pop over to init ref. And I go over to the root page here. Now what you're going to notice here is I have my origin preset as Bradley and I have my destination preset as BWI. You have to set this, otherwise it's not going to know what to do. So what I'm going to do is come to this little button that says root request and go ahead and bop it. So what it's going to do now is it's going to go pop over to the SimBrief servers and say, hey guys, uh, do you happen to have something for us? And if you do, and you set everything up correctly, you did hit generate flight plan, didn't you? Uh, you'll probably notice here that it gives us two new buttons here on the bottom. One says load, the other one says purge. Now, if I come over to the load button right here, it's actually going to steal that flight plan, the most recent flight plan, by the way, and automatically load it in here. And it's going to throw this little warning on the top that says, are you sure that's what you want to do? Now, for us, I'm going to say, sure. I'm going to come down here and press the execute button. Now, if you actually go to your legs page, you will have observed that the legs there are going to be exactly the same legs as the one that you have on your sim brief page. Uh, you see that Navigraph here has just made themselves their next billion dollars, kind of a thing like that. But you can actually see here that all the waypoints got sucked right in, including all of our critical uh, airways and things like that. Now, you're probably saying, well, I say uh, BizX here, but I don't see Quebec 7.5. What's the deal with that? Uh, it's because it put each waypoint in individually rather than do it where you have like the VIA and everything along those lines. So go ahead and pull that back out of the way so you can uh, kind of see the fun here. Again, we can surf through, we can see all of our stuff. Notice by the way, it's terminus is nuggy. It did not import any of our tricky stuff as far as, you know, what Bradley's, um, what we're going to be doing as far as approaches goes. We still have to go in and settle that up ourselves. So for us, um, it's always going to be, let's be realistic folks, it's always going to be the Bradley sex. And now we're taking off runway, let's see here, runway six today. I'm going to press enter. We go back over to departure and arrival, press the arrival key. Look at how simple this is. Now I have to just choo-choo, uh, choo -choo. I believe it's uh, Trish three today. Trish three, uh, we're going to go via Nuggy because that's going to be a last waypoint. And of course, our approach, and again, I'm just reading this right off the website there, is going to be three, three left, I believe, today. So let's see here, three, three right. Ha! Huh. Apparently three, three left is just not popular. Whatever, we'll do three, three right. I'm fine with that. Press execute. And of course, the last couple things we have to do here is we have to clean this business up. I'm just going to delete that vectors. That doesn't do anything for us. Check, 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 click, click. Let's go ahead and clean up that vector as well. Check, check, ba, 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 ba. beautiful. And that's it. Now, if you've ever had to do any of this work before, you probably realize how involved it can be to actually enter all that information. But that was literally that quick. Now, what's really, really, really wild here is you can actually now go into the root data and request wind information from SimBrief. So I can actually come over here and press this button. And what that will do is that will request wind, assuming you have set that up before. Now notice, by the way, after pressing that, it says wind data uplink ready. I simply press the load button. It says ready to go. And now you can go ahead and send up the descent forecast as well. So it'll actually grab all those components and load it into the computer to give you a better idea of what we need to do for our particular wind. You can also see descent forecast all set in kind of a piece like that. And that's just so cool how they've integrated all those components right into there. Now, some people, of course, have said, have you done anything on SimBrief before? Uh, yeah, I've done uh, videos if you want to go search for my stuff about that. SimBrief is a pretty wild service, and it has a lot of really cool things here. I love the fact you can push the button and read off the winds automatically. This is so cool. So now, of course, if I go to my progress page, um, you can see that everything's going to be preset here 
based on what I've got. Obviously, my engines aren't running right now, so you're not going to be seeing any of those details ready to go. But my entire FMS job is basically being cut in half. Because now I have to do in here after setting my departure arrivals is I can basically scoot, scoot over to here, head right over to performance, and just start working my way through all these different components that we have here kind of a thing. Now, unfortunately, uh, that's not going to let us do that. We can't just uh, request a specific whatever. Instead, what we can do is kind of do the usual where you're going to click through different options. Uh, I'm just going to pull that out of the way. Get out of my way. <laughs> we can go ahead and do the standard where you just kind of click it with your mouse kind of a thing like that. It's a little different. Again, there's going to be no reserves button. You can just dial that in manually. Cost index, of course, so you can set that directly from there. We'll do maximum cost index. Thrust limit. Uh, we have a takeoff. We have a climb. That's ready to go. I love the Q climb. Love it. You can come in here, dial in everything. Let's see, we want to use the flaps five, which would be embarrassing for a plane this big. Yeah, of course it's going to be embarrassing. You can't do flaps five for a takeoff. Ah, I got to get the correct flaps number, but I'm not going to play with that right now. But you can see just how quickly it is possible now to enter entire flight plans instantly just by setting them up in SimBrief, which does all kind of the hard work for you, and then grabbing them over here to go ahead and make your life a lot simpler. Enjoy.